Now our header on mobile view is done as well, but all of our navbar buttons are gone. We want to show them on mobile view somehow as well, right? So basically what we want to do is when this menu button is pressed, we want to show a sidebar or drawer, that is what it's called in Flutter, and show each navbar button as list view on that sidebar. So basically in Flutter, uh, we call it drawer, and it's sidebar. There are two sidebars. One is uh, right sidebar and the other is left sidebar. So basically, uh, this scaffold has two properties for drawer. If you use drawer, this drawer, if you assign a widget to this drawer, it will open on the left side. And if you make this end drawer, and this end drawer uh, is responsible for the sidebar on the right side, all right? So we are going to use this end drawer. So for that, Flutter has a drawer widget and we can use it. For now it's empty. We will actually style it and put some widgets inside it later. So if you want to open a drawer or sidebar programmatically, uh, you want to use a key of scaffold. So that's what we are going to do here. First, we will define a key here and it will be scaffold key and we make it global key and the type of the global key will be scaffold state okay scaffold state and now we will assign that key to this scaffold scaffold key now we can use the scaffold and its state to open our drawer so we'll come here on menu tab when this menu button is pressed this will be called so we are going to call that uh, open drawer function inside this uh, on menu tab uh, function. So scaffold key, we want to get current state of it and it might be null, that's why you, you want to make it nullable. So, and then we want to open not drawer, but the second method, open and drawer, all right? What, now, whenever we press on this button, it should call this function and open the drawer for us. Let's save it and try it. Now, if I tap on this button, it will open the drawer. You can see we have a sidebar. Whenever we tap on it, it will open. If I tap here, it will close, all right? So, now we have our drawer uh, and let's actually put all of the widgets we need inside this drawer. First of all, let's change the background color of this drawer. For that, we can use background color and we can use the same color as scaffold, okay? If I save it and open it, now the background changed to our scaffold's background. Now the next one is uh, drawer has a child property that takes a widget. Now we want to use list view for this because we want to uh, put a number of widgets inside it uh, so that we can show it as a list view. So list view has children property and here we can put all the widgets we want that can be shown on the sidebar. So first of all, let's actually define some icons for our navbar buttons because on the mobile, we want to sh show some fancy uh, navbar buttons that has icons as well. So basically, I already defined all the icons here. I'll copy it and I come here to constants folder. Inside here, we have nav items file and we already have uh, nav titles and we used it for our desktop header and for our mobile header we will use uh, the same nav titles and we want to use these icons as well i already created it so that you don't have uh, we don't have to type it out together and i don't want you to watch me to type uh, everything one by one so basically uh, i can close this file and i can i can come here and we can loop through each of our uh, nav icons and show them on that sidebar. So for that, I will use for loop because this is a list, we can use for loop inside this list. And integer i equal to zero and i is less than uh, nav icons length. And then we will make i++. Uh, so once we increment it, we can put all of our widgets or our widget inside and it will actually loop through and show our widgets 
as a list. Here I want to use list style. Mm, list style because li this list style has a number of properties uh, that is really good for our use case and it, it comes with Flutter. And the first one is leading and you can assign any widget you want to this leading. I want to use icon uh, because we I want to actually display these icons. Uh, here I can use icons. This is a list and we want to uh, access the the icon at, at the current index, all right? And the next one is uh, title. And for the title, we can use text widget. And then for the title, we can get our nav titles and we can get the current index, all right? So now if I save it and open our sidebar, you can see this is a fancy uh, icon and title together and this is uh, coming from this list style widget all right now let's actually uh, style our um, list styles and put some other widgets we need for our sidebar so the first first of all what I want to do is uh, to give this list style some padding mm, for that we can actually come here and we can give content padding for the content padding I want to use edge insets of symmetric and for the horizontal basically we just need horizontal uh, I want to give just 30 all right if I save it and open it you can see we have some padding here so the next one is uh, let's actually style our uh, text or title for that we can use uh, title style title text style and it will get text style just like text and we can give uh, color first and the color will be custom color uh, of white primary and I want to make it bold font weight of mm, font weight let's make this 600 and then font size for the font size I want to use 16 okay let's make it 16 and we can actually make this const and we can make this one const as well so that we can get rid of dart complaining message and then what we want to do we want to use on tap method of the, this list style it already has that on tap method so we can come here and we can use that on tap and for now it's just empty method now if I save it, now let's open it, you can see our uh, style, our text is styled. So now what we want to do is to put some button that close the sidebar. Of course you can tap here and close it, but it's not just a good idea to, to leave it as it is, uh, because uh, for user experience it's, it's best practice to put some closing uh, button as well. Okay, that's what we want to do here. So for that I'll come up here and before that list style mm, we want to use another icon button first of all let's uh, give this on pressed for now it's just empty uh, and then for the icon icon and then icons dot close so let's put the comma there and then let's wrap this with a padding as well wrap it with padding for the padding I want to give a only uh, left left of 20 and let's give some top as well for the top I want to give 20 and for the bottom 20 as well all right if I save it now let's open it you can see we have this button now when we press it, it should, it should close the sidebar. So let's add the functionality and put this button here, okay? Not at the center, but here. So for it, we can actually wrap our widget with another widget that's align. Uh, let's do that first. Wrap it with widget and align. And for the alignment, let's use alignment, alignment dot center left, all right? And then if we save it and open the sidebar, 
you can see it's coming together now. All right, the last thing is when we press it, it should close the sidebar. For it, what we want to do is just uh, come here on pressed and we want to use navigator, navigator dot, let's get the uh, context, okay? Navigator off current context and then we can call the pop method. And let's make this const as well. Do we have anything that's not const or should be const? All right, now with this method, it should close our sidebar. I save it and let's open the sidebar. And if I press on it, you can see it closed the sidebar. If I open it and I close it and that's it. Now our drawer is done as well. What we want to do is let's actually grab our drawer and put it in its own separate file because it's not a good idea to put all of our code like a spaghetti here, all right? That's why let's come here, uh, drawer, just above the body and let's come up here until the drawer and let's copy and remove it or cut it, all right? And here we will come down come to this widgets folder and we'll create a new file and the name of the file will be drawer a drawer let's make it mobile because it's only for uh, mobile view right dot dart right and state list widget again and th that will be uh, mobile not drawer mobile let's say drawer mobile okay we will replace this placeholder with our drawer widget. Let's get rid of uh, all of the errors by actually importing the components that are missing. Let's import them. And then all of them are gone. Now we can get this drawer mobile and come here and actually uh, import it. So import it and make this const and let's actually reload it. Okay, now if we open it, it should work the same as before, just like this.